Hi everyone, oh, we are playing Gagarin Deep Space and we're up against uh, Jasmine de Serene and so this is uh, going to be a fun matchup. We're playing a uh, Museum of History um, Mumbad Temple style deck. Um, this hand has mm, ice and a Mumbad Temple. Um, has no money though, so I think we're going to mulligan this. Um, and this is okay. We have our root and we have a daily business show. We have three of those in the deck, so. Okay, that's actually a fantastic draw for us. Gonna start doing some nonsense. Um, and let's put out this over HQ, I think. Oh man, R&D is kind of a, a rough, a rough spot here because uh, Code Siphon can get some stuff for free and we don't want that, so we'll have to just see what happens here. Uh, the spider web is pretty good in this case, but we don't really want to res, so we're just trying to deter the runner. Uh, that's fine. Trashing it, all right. That is totally fine with me. Uh, we have two more in the deck, so anything that we end up drawing is going to get us further into the deck and find us another daily business show. Hopefully we'll find one soon. All right. So going to go broke. Seems good. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's draw. Okay, let's install this. And let's install um you can just gain a credit. I wanna get this thing running, right? Cost six though. It seems bad. Might be up against a siphon build. Um I think we're just gonna put out the NAPD. Not really worried. <clears throat> so the goal of the deck is just asset spam, which is a fun thing to do. Not so fun on Jinteki.net because there's just not enough space on the table, so we're going to end up making this incredibly small over the course of this game, and hopefully it doesn't uh, cause any of you viewers too much discomfort. So... Trash is two Maya, so I must have three Maya in hand. How weird. Um, okay, so starting our turn. Uh, let's see. Can I really want to just want to throw things out there, right? So let's draw. Let's see what we can find. That's pretty good. Your remote. And I think we're gonna gain a credit here. We were in 54 cards, of course, with the Museum of History. Hopefully we'll find one soon. Um, though getting the route online is also awesome. Oh, what is this? So this is a Pontra Tantra deck with Dave's X. That's cool. I like that. I like that stuff. Uh, we're going to res the pad. Anything else? That's it. We're going to draw Hadrian's Wall, which is cool. Not very good right now, but we're going to put this out in a new server. Um, we're going to advance, no we're not, we're going to put out the Enigma over server 6, and we're going to get any credit. Proco, okay, so just setting up. Looks like we might actually score this Atlas, which will be great for us. Um, anything else we want to do at the beginning of the turn? Not really. But we are going to res this and use the three credits. Which is sweet. We have our engine, on, <laughs> engine online. We've got a pad campaign. We're going to be gaining three credits a turn to do stuff. So this might get trashed, I would imagine. It costs five, though. 
so we'll see. We're totally fine with the runner trashing our stuff because of the Museum of Histories, um, and this deck is just going to become incredibly difficult. We only have 10 agendas in the deck and 54 cards, um, so pretty we're pretty cool with that. All right, so I think we're going to let's see. We could ice the root, or we could put Caduceus over R and D. I think we're going to put this over R and D. Um, it's very annoying for a zero link runner, and we can put. Let's see, we can gain three. We're going to put Jackson out. Gain one. Nah. Eh, yeah, we will. Let's put Jackson server six, and let's gain a credit. So, in case this looks like it's going a little slow on Jinteki, there are 98 games going on right now, which is unusual. Um, but it's pretty popular right now. So I would imagine their route's going to get trashed here, um, leaving it Giving it up is a bad idea. Ooh, um, no more action. I'm okay with the runner stealing this NAPD. That is kind of the point. It's super taxing. We don't really want to. We don't want to score them if we can help it. Let's see what's going to happen here. Uh, no more action. Going broke. Okay. Indexing. Uh, that's fine. Last turn indexing, especially with the jacks on the board, we don't really care. Yeah, I, I don't think this was a good play. You definitely want to save these until you can, you've checked and made sure there's no Jackson on the board. Um, because ultimately, if they run, we'll probably just keep the Jackson there. Um, or we could, I guess, res it and draw. Just see what, what we've got put on top. Um, probably not some money. If I was this runner, I would definitely put the money on the bottom of the five cards. So we'll get a buck. Caduceus is great. So let's just uh, draw Jackson. There's a museum. Cool. Um, let's museum. And good Chrisium, good R&D. Yeah, just gain a, gain a buck. So when my turn begins, I may shuffle one card from archives into R&D. So that actually turns off indexing at the, <laughs> at the end of turn anyway. So um, we're pretty well protected. And uh, we can shuffle our turtlebacks back in the deck, which is what we want to do for sure. Uh, film critic, OK. That is good. We do have one more NAPD, so it could be helpful. Uh, we're going to res this. See if it's. Oh, I see. So you click it. Shuffle cards. Okay. Let's shuffle our turtlebacks back in. Interesting. They've done some good stuff with the implementation of this. Uh, so we'll put this in a new remote. Um, we can gain some money. And then we can put Caduceus over server 8, which I think is fine. So the runner has, has spent a total of 5, 10, 15 to trash our uh, assets, and then spent 5 to steal this. So a 20, 20 credits have been lost to get one agenda and to try to keep us off of money. Um, 
I'm not sure that's really worth it. I think in this case, you just want to like lock R&D. Um, we are going to res this guy. Start turn. And we can use museum. Uh, let's shuffle back our diversified portfolio. Jackson, sweet. Um, all right, so we have a Hadrian's Wall, which is meant to ultimately be one of our taxing ice on R&D. Um, I think we want to start putting things there, but we want our Christium grid. Where do we want it? Are we going to get siphoned? Uh, let's put it over HQ then. And let's just bide some time, get some money. Nothing in our hand is really threatened. Next turn we can, if we want, okay, so we got something coming in. Uh, yeah, sure. Probably gonna bounce here and try to get this. Could go R&D, I'd be okay with that. Not sure if this uh, type of runner, if Jasminder runs Parasites. I don't think she usually does. She usually runs Escher instead as a way to deal with problematic ice on servers she doesn't want. Um, so not 100% not sure about that, but this is good. Ooh, nice. So this is probably a Siphon build. There's an indexing coming, probably. Uh, let's start turn, use this. Let's shuffle back our root mandatory draw. Okay, so that's all right. Let's draw two. And I mean, not really worried about anything. Let's just put this in a new remote and we can gain a buck. Probably gonna score this. The Caduceus costs a total of five for the, um, oh yeah, not even gonna try. Okay, so Magnum, Magnum Vamp probably. Um, so the Chrissium on HQ is a very good choice. Okay, so now we have a couple options. We need to uh, shore up R&D, um, make this a little bit smaller. Whoops, sorry about that. There we go. Let's res this, um, start turn. Shuffle cards, Let's shuffle away our DPS. Man, these, these museums of history are just amazing at this deck. My, my deck is 37 cards still. Okay, we got a point. Um, probably gonna want to draw to, that's cool. Um, let's put this in server eight, I think. It's in here. That's good. No, that's an enigma. Yeah, that's okay. I think we want to put this in server eight. We want to res it. And we can throw out um, global food. Sure. So now it's a click taxing sort of style. Things are going to be trashed. Okay, sure. Um, I'm going to not do anything. I can't do anything. Sure. If only I had one more credit. Could res my hostel. All right. Well, let's start the turn. Gaining a buck. That is very good for us. Um, So tour guide on server nine, and then money, money. I, 
I think we can realistically just score behind tour guide with uh, one, two, three, four, five assets on the table, um, potentially six. So I think we're good with this Oak Town behind that. I'm not exactly sure. I guess maybe with Panchatantra it could be bad because it could break all the things, but we haven't seen a Panchatantra yet. We don't know if that's what this runner's on. Um, we see three Maya. I think three is not the right number, but that is neither here nor there. Nice. Okay, so we're going to put out a Museum of History, gaining a buck. We're going to put out... What do we want? We just want to throw our Oak Town out there. Server 9. And advance it once. Opus, 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 run. Okay, so there's a mimic. It's going to cost five. Okay, and then one to access, which is not bad. Okay, so we're going to shuffle, global food, mandatory draw, root, sweet. Uh, I think we're gonna put the root in a new remote, gaining a buck. Um, we could put this guy, let's see, what's our plan here? We need an extra dollar, and then we can put spider web. Do we want to put spider web, or do we want to force him to run? Maybe we're going to put this in server 9, and the turn. This might have been the wrong play. I'm not sure. Usually runners don't immediately go back to the server, but we, the runner, uh, Jessminder does actually have a Magnum, so it doesn't actually cost her that much, just three clicks in a run, so it takes her whole, whole turn to go here. Maybe it was correct to place the Jacks in there to try to bait the run, um, but I'm not sure. I like the one of Hostile Infrastructure in this deck, actually. I think it's really strong. Uh, we could tutor for it with our boot camp, and uh, ultimately, yeah, it looks like we're going to get a run here. Oh, no, just a modded. Nice. All right. So let's shuffle. Boom. Mandatory draw. Mama Temple. Nice. So I think we're going to try to score this now. Um. Yeah, I mean, there's really no reason not to. Okay, we have zero credits, so indexing is pretty bad for us, but one, two, three, four. There are five more agendas in the deck. One of them's an NAPD. Uh, we have a lot of outs here, 32 card deck, so it's not that bad. We have Jackson as well, if the runner wants to go back in. Uh, no. So I wonder if this is going to get trashed. Probably not. I think once the hostile infrastructure, at least the first one, hits the table, uh, none of your stuff gets trashed anymore. That's that's kind of how I see it. 
It's like once this thing is up, it's up for the rest of the game, and it probably won't get trashed. It's not worth the five credits, the six credits in this deck, and then a, a net damage. Um, then this becomes five credits and a net damage. You know, that's just terrible. No one wants to do that. So this runner also needs to consider that so the things on top of R&D, um, if for whatever reason she wanted to come back in and trash stuff, it will cost her a net damage too. Uh-oh. Our opponent disconnected. Hopefully our opponent reconnects. Okay, our opponent's back. Um, can't type. All right, good. Sometimes it messes up if if you get disconnected in the middle of a um, an effect. Just gonna shuffle nothing. Access isn't one. It's not an agenda. That's good. Not gonna trash it. Not worth the net damage. Awesome. This deck runs really poor. Um, I might do a little bit of tweaks and add a couple more uh, money cards. Uh, t three turtlebacks, three pad campaign, two um, domestic. Now I can host something on film critic. Oh, uh, critic wild access. So it looks like it's the last NAPD. There you go, yep. Okay. Uh-oh, could lose here. Well, that was lucky. Put that card on the bottom, nice. All right, we won't see that, but he can go back in again if he wants. That's pretty sweet. That's actually really cool. Pseudo RDI. <clears throat> So I guess we could lose again. We'll see. Trash and take a net. Oh, ho, 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 that's sweet. All right, well, let's shuffle that back into the deck. Turtlebacks. Okay, we're gonna make this smaller. Whoops, that was bigger. Okay, so let's install the turtlebacks. New remote, gaining a buck. Let's reuse some uh, credits. 
to res the turtle X. Let's install this in a new remote. What else have we got? We've got extra credit, so we could put our Jackson in server nine for now. See if he's gonna run it. Yeah, the Caduceus isn't super good right now, but we want to get this um, Hadrian's Wall working. So hopefully we can dodge one more turn of indexing. I don't know if we can, but maybe we can. We're on six points. It's very possible that we put an agenda here, so... Uh-oh. Uh Okay, so some questions about what the runner is going to do this turn. Possibly just money, money, take NAPD. If that's the case, then we're definitely going to slam this Hadrian's Wall um, and kind of like just chill behind it for a while. Another option is to um, put our spider web here. Oh, well, this is really taxing. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight credits to get in here. Okay, so I think we're going to take a credit. I'm going to res. I'm going to take a credit and take another credit. And we're going to res this. Uh oh. two cards. Pretty decent here. Oh, he got it. Good game. Yeah, so the Caduceus might not be a great play here. We probably should have iced up, um, but we were just so poor this entire game, even though we did all this cool stuff. Um, I feel like it has some legs. This this kind of deck is pretty decent, and uh, these museums are really, really good. We'll show them the Chrysium. Probably had a siphon in hand. Oh, no, maybe not. So maybe the big thing was uh, we could have got one more ice here and been fine. Um. <laughs> yeah, siphoning against us isn't very good. Um, but uh, I mean, one in twenty-five or twenty-nine shot—it's not too bad. I guess a five in twenty-nine. But yeah, thanks for watching. We'll uh, give our Gagarin Deep Space another shot. Take care.